Most people thought that Adam Newman, the founder of WeWork, was going to change the world. The 42-year-old founder grew WeWork from a cute office space company to a $47 billion real estate behemoth, in large part thanks to a Hail Mary $18.5 billion investment from SoftBank. That's bigger than the GDP of Bolivia, depending on what numbers you use. That success did not last for long though, because when WeWork tried to IPO, Wall Street did not see the value in the real estate, software, or cash flow that WeWork had. And then people started to look into it and reports came out that WeWork was behind on rent, that Adam Newman personally owned real estate and then leased it back to WeWork, and that WeWork laid off 7% of its workforce before hiring Run TMC for an event. WeWork's valuation dropped to $2.9 billion. Huge difference, that's obviously a lot smaller than the GDP of Bolivia. Adam Newman got removed as CEO and got a half billion dollar buyout. He's now invested in 49 startups across New York City. WeWork's future is a little bit less known. But in 2018, 